now the new two. Very difficult game coming up today. We've got Spurs in the Carabao Cup quarter final away. And then in the league with our final two games, we've got Southampton and Burnley, uh, who are both, as you can see, Southampton there. Burnley rock bottom, Southampton just lingering above that relegation zone. With that in mind, I want to put a stronger team out for the game here. Uh, in net, we're going to put Keller. Back for it will be Trent, Delict, Meccano, Robbo. Midfield, we're going to have Sabozlo and McAllister, but then by Chetic instead. Salah and Martelli on the wing with in fact, Salah up front with Doak and Martelli on the wing. Then on the bench, we have got Mukieli, Ramsey, Elliot, Grabenberch, Morton, and Nunes. Let's see how we do. We do have a real lack in depth, to be honest. Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the Salah centrally today. By my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And coming up, action from the quarter of fantastic. Spend Duke. Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, the semi final place is up for grabs, so we should be in the game. Oh, Salah chests it, strikes it. Go, oh, it's fucking phenomenal. Mo Salah's come into my office after the game last episode against uh, Leicester said, I just want to be on the pitch. He chested that down and struck it on the half volley into the far corner. Fine, I will play you. Don't matter on his age, he's still doing things like that. He's in the team. That's two in two in the Carabao Cup for Salah. And the perfect start, four minutes in, one up. Playing centrally. And it's uh, not a bad start. Martinelli, the former Arsenal man, to see what he can do as well. Keller, getting a game today. Last time he played, he wasn't great. Robertson, McAllister. McAllister, Robertson. Bacetic. Sabosloy, Ben Duke. Bacetic. Sabosloy, Ben Duke. Cut back. Salah. Oh, it's a great, superb block. Throw in though, but we have started this first 13 minutes absolutely superbly. Dominic Sabosloy. See the ball. Salah. That's a great ball. By Chetic there. Chucks himself at it and misses. Meccano, fantastic. It's Ben Doak. It's poor from Ben Doak. That's not what I asked for at all. Oh, Son. Got the beating of Delict. Meccano's coming over. Son's ball is absolutely awful, but McAllister, that's beautiful from Alexis McAllister. Gabriel Martinelli. Salah. Smashes it across. Well, I'll say smashes it. Passes it to the keeper, is what I meant. I, the reason I said smashes it is because as I held the button, I was expecting him to smash it because of how I held it and how I intended to hit the shot. It was on his left foot as well, by the way. He wouldn't think so with how it played, but uh, yeah, awful. Griezmann. Oof, Meccano deals with that fantastically well. Sabaslai. Good from Keller, it's enough. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Whipped in by Griezmann. Delict. Liverpool struggling to keep hold of the ball. And it's a quality pass. Good save from Keller. He was turning away from goal, um, just 
really helped Keller with the save. There wasn't really any conviction in the shot when the last touch is away from goal. It doesn't always help. Trent with a very good uh, defensive header. But Martinelli can bring it forward and hopefully try and hurt the team that he used to love hurting so much Martinelli. when he was in North London. But Ben Davis is having none of that. Martinelli wins that while McAllister deflected. Comfortable for Delete. By Chet, it's fantastic. So strong. Martinelli, Robbo, fantastic. Fuck off, Upa Meccano was absolutely having none of that yellow card for Dio Upa Meccano. And I think that's one worth taking. Griezmann. Keller really well held and can we get a counter attack going nice and quick? We can. Here's Ben Doak. It's lovely. Far too easy for Liverpool. Salah through and when Salah's through, Salah sucks off Lump. I don't know what he does, but that's shocking. Sucks off Spurs players. Deadlicked. Robbo. Oh, look, look, look at the look. Robbo play him off. He's off. And that's why the half-time whistle went fantastic from Andy Robertson. To quickly play him offside. And the half-time we're up. Obviously, we won the FA Cup and Prem last season. The year before, we won the Europa League. So in terms of the big five trophies, Champions League, Europa League, uh, Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup. All we've not won is the Champions League and the Carabao Cup. Really do want to win this trophy. Won the Community Shield as well. Obviously, not won the... UEFA Super Cup, oh fuck off. Not won the Super Cup, but again, I don't count that as a major. It's trophy's a trophy and I'd love to win it. I'm not one of these that doesn't. Cutie Shield's not a major, but I'd always love to win it, especially because half the time we we play it, it's against Man City. That's even more reason why I'd love to win it, because it's against them. None of them are Mickey Mouse trophies. Some Liverpool fans call it that when they don't win it. They just look fickle. I think every trophy's a trophy and I want to win every trophy. Great save from Coivin Keller. Salah, Sabozlai. Oh, it's a great little touch that. So then they're in real trouble. Trent in that sort of area. Got, a, got all the room to find a pass. Great from Keller again. Delict is absolutely destroyed by a poor refereeing decision. I think he won the ball clear as day. Let's, let's watch this again. He gets the man first. He gets the ball eventually, but he does get the man first. Uh, Griezmann. And I was never, ever, ever going to go that way. So that was always destined for the back of the net. Bloody dog. And Martin, they're trying to go through the... Press. But yeah, this is a trophy I really do want to win because I haven't won it yet. Pedro to be fair, it should be one of the. It should never nothing. You should ever say it should be one of the easiest, but it's easier to win than the Champions League and the Premier League, and the, probably the FA Cup. Everyone takes Andrew the Carabao Cup the least seriously. Well. We have really struggled in the FA in the Carabao Cup. We've been knocked out so in the early rounds by some pretty poor teams. To be fair, Trent. This is. Oh! Clear. Keller makes himself big, forces them to smash it over the bar. Delete both the centre backs as you can see, booked by Chetic. Who's that boat? I don't care who you are, fucking have that, you nonce. Comfortable for Keller and quickly out to Martinelli. Right now, what's tell you exactly what's happening? I'm getting fucking stressed. Therefore, I'm making silly decisions. Just calm down. Seven minute match from something. Calm down. Because I'm getting stressed. Mikieli.
will do that. Make all those subs. See if that makes a difference. Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very Gilly playing centre back. Tyler Morton fresh legs in the middle. As is Graven Birch finding Dominic Soboslai. Good save. And the subs instantly making an impact. Trent with the ball into Meccano. Elliot. Ben Duke. Intense pressure. Elliot's ball in is to Nunes. Bang, and he just heads it in as Darwin does. And it's a lovely, lovely goal. It's fantastic pressing. Forced the error. Good run from Elliot. Good pressing there. Elliot, lovely touch pass his man. Nunes, the ball is just out of the reach of Ben Davis and lands perfectly on the right foot of Darwin. Nunes who smashes it in on the volley. He doesn't really think where it's going. He just thinks, I'm going to hit this hard and I'm going to hit it on target. That's all he needs to do. It's 2-1. Probably a bit too central. Keeper could have probably got a touch on that, but just too hard past the keeper. Uh, Spurs aren't really offered much anyway, to be fair. Graham Birch, that's wrong ball, to be fair. Didn't ask for that. Too fair. The overall situation doesn't favour Spurs, but they're still in it. Trent can't make a touch or he's going to go down. Well done. That's all I needed to do. Block off the angle. And then you trust your goalkeeper in those tight goal situations. If your goalkeeper's being beat, it's just poor goalkeeping and there's nothing I can do about it. So Boslo. Fantastic that from Tyler Morton. Trent to Elliott. And it's perfect. Place in the Carabao Cup semi-finals at... Stake. He's took out Elliot, but it's fallen perfectly for Nunes. We deserve that because that could have been really. Morton. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Come on. Can we keep it through then? We are in the January double leg. Double leg quarterfinals. Yet more fixture congestion coming up. Oh, Paul Meccano. Mukieli. Denies the corner, but... Oh, and denies them the chance. No faffing from Quibbin Keller. Get that ball out of our way. So Bosloy. Blow that whistle. I'll take a yellow card. That we're 40 seconds after the full time whistle should have gone. Yellow card for Ryan Grubbers. It's one worth taking. Nunes. Elliot just gets rid. And that is us in the Carabao Cup semi-finals. It's a cup that hasn't really been easy for us. We've struggled, like I said at the beginning of the episode, in it. But we do go through and we edge Spurs just. And there's all the other games in the quarters. Southampton, Brighton, Fulham, Man United, Norwich, West Brom. Spurs and Liverpool were the two best teams left in the competition. Ideally, we aren't going to be facing Manchester United. Because I fancy us against any of them others. Do we know who we've got yet in the next round? I give up. I give up. Every, Every cup, cup. I could have had Norwich, have had Norwich. West, Brom, West Brom, Southampton. Southampton. These are teams I saw in there. I saw in there. Brighton. Brighton. Tough game, but Tough game. who do I have? I Manchester United. United. Who else would I have? Anyway, up next, Southampton. I'll see you next episode for the penultimate game of today's recording session. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Like, subscribe, take care, and bye-bye.